To make objects cast shadows, we first need to activate this option by adding the shadows prop to the canvas. Next, we need to specify which objects are shadow casters and which are shadow receivers. To do this, we'll use the cast shadow prop on shadow casting objects like the box and the light in our case. Then, we'll use the receive shadow prop to enable an object to receive shadows. For this, I'll create a plane and rotate it. As you can see, the shadows are displayed correctly and everything looks fine. However, there may be cases where shadows appear clipped or fail to appear entirely. Actually, let me provide an example of that, so I'll start by creating another light source with a helper, but this time I'll use a directional light instance. Next, I'll import the appropriate helper and use it instead of the spotlight helper. By the way, ensure to set the arguments in the correct order. When using the use helper function with a directional light helper, there is a size argument that comes before the color. This small detail cost me hours to figure out, so avoid making the same mistake. And there we go, we've got our light with its helper, and as you can see, most of the box shadow has mysteriously disappeared. So, why did this happen? When the light is set to cast shadows, it uses a rectangle that defines the area where the shadows appear. Any shadow cast outside the bounds of that rectangle will not be visible. That being said, let's use a helper that allows us to visualize those shadow limits. First, we need to import the camera helper from the core of 3GS, create a new reference for the shadow, and then call use helper passing the reference and the helper as arguments. Next, we'll set the directional light as a parent component. Inside it, we'll create an orthographic camera and attach it to the shadow. Now, you might be wondering what's the deal with this camera and how does it relate to shadows? Well, let's take a moment to understand what we've done so far. If you remember from the second video in this playlist, I mentioned that the camera is one of the most essential components of our React 3 Fiber app. However, I didn't create any camera until this video. The reason behind that is that a perspective camera is implicitly created and attached to the scene by default. That said, we can still add a camera if you want to and it will automatically be attached to the scene, but that's not exactly what we want in this case. What we need is an orthographic camera which is defined by four edges and attach it to the shadow, not to the scene. We achieved this by using the orthographic camera component and the attach prop. The four edges defined by this camera now correspond to the same edges of the shadow's area, so when we use the dedicated helper to display the camera's edges, we are essentially showing the bounds of the shadow area. Now, taking a look at the result, you can see a new helper displaying a shadow area defined by the default values that come with the orthographic camera. This means that by updating the values of the camera edges, we can adjust the bounds of the shadow area. To do that, we'll use the args prop and pass an array of four values representing the left, right, top, and bottom edges of the shadow area, respectively. And there we go, after adjusting the values, the box shadow has appeared, but it's still not fully complete. So to fix this, we need to widen the area on the right side. We can do this by updating the second element of the array. Alternatively, we can skip the args prop entirely and use the specific sides by their names. So here I'll use the top prop to adjust the top side and the right prop for the right side. 